we'll guide you through how to set up your PS5. If you find this useful, consider subscribing and liking the video. So as you can see, we've got the PS5 here. I've gone and set it up in the vertical position uh, with the stand. We've got a full guide on that, which I'll put a link to in the description or the comments of this video um, to how to set that stand up. And then we've got the HDMI cable. So this is gonna be connecting the PS5 to your TV. Then we've got the power adapter. So of course, this is gonna be plugging into the wall into your PS5. Then we've got the USB-A to USB-C wire. So this is going to be charging your controller. Then of course, we've got the controller itself. And then we've just got some manuals and stuff. So spin the PS5 round just like this. And then we can go and see all of the ports. For the ports, we've got two USBs here. Then we've got ethernet. So that'll be connecting uh, your PS5 to your home network, or you can use Wi-Fi. Then we've got the HDMI, which is obviously for the visuals. And then we've got the power. So let's go and grab the HDMI and go and plug that in. So here's one end of my HDMI cable. So let's go and plug this in here. And then we can go and grab the power cable and you can plug the power cable in just below the HDMI like this. And then what we want to do is go and plug the other end of the HDMI into my TV and we'll plug the power cable into the wall. I've now gone and connected my PS5 to my TV and also plugged it into the wall. And then I just want to quickly run through the front of the PS5. So here you've got a USB port. And what I like to do is go and plug our controller cable into that. So we'll do that now. And then just below the USB-A port, you've got a USB-C. I'm just gonna plug the controller cable in now. And then at the bottom here, we've got the eject button and then the power button. Now, what we're going to do is go and turn the PS5 on. So as I said, press that lower button here, just like this. It will beep and it will turn on and it should go and start going blue. And then we can go on and turn our TV on as well. Once your TV is turned on, it's important you go and select the correct source. So I'm gonna go and tap on the source button just here and then go to HDMI, I think I did one. So I click there and then hopefully my PS5 should appear just like so. I'll just go and turn it down a bit. And now the first thing we need to do is connect our controller to our PS5. So as we just did, you need to plug in your controller uh, cable. So plug it into your PS5 and then we'll plug the other end into our controller. So you simply grab your controller like this and then just go and plug the cable in like that. And you have to push it quite hard. And once you've um, pushed it in, you then need to hold this middle sort of PlayStation icon here and it will glow blue. And just like that, we can now go and select our language. So I am English United Kingdom. And then you need to go and choose which Wi-Fi network you want to join. And so what you can do is go up and down using this joystick here, the left one, and then to select the network, press X, and then you can go and start typing in by moving around with this joystick here, and then you press X to go and sort of select it. After entering your Wi-Fi password, we take into this screen here, which says adjust display area. And so what you need to do is make sure those circles are right in the corner of your screen, as you can see, I've got quite a big black area. And so to go and change the sides of them, to make your screen smaller to fit it in, you press this down on the D-pad and to increase it, you press up like this. And as you can see, the screen is then getting bigger and that's just right for me. I'll then go and tap OK. And then what you can do is insert a game disc. I don't have one, if you do, you can. Uh, and then you can go and choose your power options. I'll just have low power use and press OK. And then you need to go and agree to the license agreement. I've read this before, so I know it and I'll press confirm. And then what you can do is go and update the system software to use network features and get the most out of your PS5. I would recommend doing this. I personally won't just because I'm doing this video, so I'll do it later. And then we can go and add a user. So to go and add a user, all you need to do is go and click on that text box by pressing on the X button, and then you can go and enter in a name. Once you've entered it, you can then tap done like this and then go down to OK by just dragging down like that and then press OK. And you can then go and do data collection. Personally, I'm not going to, so I'll press across like that and press limited data only. It will then say, welcome to PlayStation 5. And then here you are on your PS5 home screen. And then what I recommend you do is press on this top button on your controller to go over to the right. And then as you can see, it says you're not signed in. So go and press OK on this screen here and we can then press OK again or X and we can then go and sign in to your PSN account or go and create one, which I'll need to do. But before I need to do a software update. So I'm going to press continue and then I'll press update. 
and now I'll just wait for this to download. So I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please leave a like. We've got a ton more PS5 tutorials on the channel, so check them out if you need more help. Thanks for watching.